Hello parents, my name is Paxton from Raymond Math and Science Studio. I hope you do enjoy the last video. For those who missed out the first video, I would suggest that you click on the link, watch the first video before you continue with this. Okay, without wasting any more time, we will continue with the video series that makes math simpler for your child. In the last video, you have seen how superior is the box method compared to the traditional model drawing method. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how RMSS box method makes solving a more advanced fraction problem simpler. Let's take a look at the question now. Butu made some pratas. He sold 4 over 9 of the pratas in the morning, 3 fifth of the remainder in the afternoon, and 3 quarter of the remainder in the evening. If he had 28 pratas left, find the quantity of the pratas Mutu made. For this question, there is 2 fraction of the remainder that makes this question more tedious. As students not only have to try to cut up the remaining ones, to find the Prada sold in the afternoon, the students have to cut up the second remainder the second time to find the Prada sold in the evening. So, can you imagine after drawing the box, students have to first cut the box to represent the Pratas, and then find the first remainder, cut again to find the Prada sold in the afternoon. Now, that's not over. Students have to find the second remainder, cut it up again, to find the Prada sold in the evening. Now, as you can see, students using the traditional model method have to keep cutting and cutting until the students become blur themselves. Can you see the complication and confusion using the traditional model method? Now, in RMSS, we teach our students how to use the RMSS box method to solve such advanced questions without complicating and confusing the students. Let's take a look at the RMSS box method. To start RMSS box method, we need to find a unit number to represent the total number of pratas made by Mutu. By taking all the denominators, multiply them together, 9 times 4 times 5, which is 180 units. With that, we will then draw a vertical box and let 180 units represent the number of pratas. From here, all I need you guys to do is just to follow instructions, as simple as that. Now, the next step is to cut up part of the box. Now, remember, size doesn't matter. And then we will label it as morning. To find out the Prata soot in the morning, we will just have to follow the English words from the question. 4 over 9 of the Pratas in the morning. We can translate it to 4 over 9 of, which is the sign for multiplication, and the pratas, which is represented by 180U. So, we will take 4 over 9 multiplied by 180U. Now, this will give us 80U. 80U will represent the number of pratas sold in the morning. Let's put 80U in the box that we had labelled as morning. All this do was done by following simple instructions. Once we found out that Mutu sold 80U in the morning, we will be able to find what is the remaining, which is 100U. We will then label on the left-hand side 100U for remainder. Okay, now, we can cut up a box in the remaining and label soap in afternoon. After this, we will just continue following instructions. Mutu sold 3 fifth of the remainder in the afternoon. Same thing. Using the English words, we can translate it into mathematical statement. 3 over 5 times the remaining, which will give us 60U. So, label the afternoon box 60 units. Now, what's left will be the 2 remainder, which is 40U. To make it simpler, I'll draw the second box to match the remaining, and we'll name this second remainder. With the second remainder again, I will follow instructions from the question, translating 3 over 4 of the remaining in the evening. Thus, I will take 3 over 4, multiply by the second remainder. 
which will give me 3 over 4, multiply 40U, which will give me 30U. Now, label 30U as evening. After filling up the box with the prata sold in the morning, afternoon and evening, the left will be 10U, which we will label it as left. As you can clearly see, 10U is equal to 28. To find one unit, we will take 28 to divide by 10 and it will give us 2.8. To solve this question, we need to know how many pratas did Mutu make, which we will have to find what is 180 units. Now, since one unit is equal to 2.8, we will take 2.8 multiplied by 180. Now, this will give us 504 pratas. Now, from the first video, you can see how superior RMSS box method is compared to the traditional model drawing method. To solve a fraction problem sum, and in this video, you witness how simple RMSS box method is used to solve an even more advanced question. As you can see, the simplicity of RMSS box method and how it breaks down such a complex question, even a P5 student can use this method to solve a P6 question. Now, stay tuned for our third video, which we will show you another awesome method to solve racial problem sums.